This is weed, hot, cannabis, Mary Jane. Ain't nothing cool about what it can do to your brain. It messes with your memory. Who the who are you? And when I never really expected that I would have to make this video, but like I've just been getting a lot of criticism recently, so I kind of just wanted to go deeper into why I draw the things that I do. Something I've noticed, and like a lot of people have noticed in the horror genre as a whole, be it slasher flicks or popular western horror films, or video games or anime, even black metal, whatever, is there's a lot of hypersexualized themes that go hand in hand with the more gory, violent themes as well, and I just kind of wanted to use my art as a commentary on that. Another reoccurring theme in my art is self-harm, because that is something that I have dealt with for years, and um, I've just had a variety of different mental health issues for a long time now, and I've found that art has been um, the most effective way for me to cope with that. I've also found that um, pairing self-harm with like more cutesy imagery has made the urges easier for me to digest, if that makes any sense. And a lot of my other self-harm art is just different characters of myself because honestly, I'd rather um, put those out on paper than do it to myself. I can go more into the symbolism of specific pieces, I just don't really have time in this video. That being said, um, not all of my art has a deeper meaning to it. Sometimes I do like to pair gory imagery with cutesy imagery solely for the shock factor purposes because I think seeing those two different things that usually aren't seen together can be really jarring and can invoke a lot of emotions in people. And um, I do believe art is subjective so I definitely like to play around with what different emotions I can make people feel. Got me jumping like... Don't seem to